JC engineering and technical drawing by my right is the image of the first room of a cone. We are asked to produce the complete plan, the end elevation and then the development slash the pattern. Now from my left, from my right here you find out that the diameter of my cone is given to me as 64 millimeter. So I'll pick my meter rule and I'll take 32 millimeters radius. And by my left here, you can see I've drawn my vertical and my horizontal line. So I'll place that at the point of the intersection and then I'll draw a cycle. Now I'll number this cycle. My horizontal line my circle zero zero now pick a point and then i'll draw a straight line now using this straight line i'm going to project point zero to hit my horizontal line then i'll call this point here point a also do the same thing to the other side project it upward and I'll call that point, point B. Now, from my diagram, you see that the height of the cone is 64 millimeter. So, I'll measure 64 millimeter upward. Then, it indicated with the point. I'll call that point there, point C. Now, I'll join point C to point A. Join point C to point B. And then from my diagram, see from point C to the to my right is 38 millimeter. So I'll measure 38 millimeter from point C. And then I'll project the line to hit line a b extension line a b the extension then it says 54 millimeter upward should measure 54 millimeter upward so I'll measure 54 millimeter upward now put a point i'll indicate that point with the center line just a little and i'll call the points over here point c one now using point c1 as my point of intersection i'll open my compass to radius 50 millimeter so my radius 50 millimeter place it at point c1 then i'll scribe an arc touching the two sides of the cone And then I'll outline the portion. I'm done with the outlining. Then I'll divide my circle into 12 equal number of parts. I'm done dividing the circle into 12 equal number of parts. Then I'll number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 5, 4, 3, two one and then zero i'll project my numbered line to hit line a b now you can see that each of my line passes through line one point one point one two two three three four four five five now each of these lines i'll project it to line c I'm done projecting the lines to line C, then I'll number, call this one, call, call this point here zero, one, two, three, four, point five, and then zero. I'm done numbering. So from point one, so I'm, I'm attempting number one, which says we should draw the complete plan. From point one, from zero here we move 
to line AB to point C. You find that a zero hits my truncated cone here, and then I'll project it downward to hit line zero. Zero to line zero. Now also point one project it downward from point one here line one to hit line one from this point one here to hit line one line one similarly I'll do for two line two line two then for line three I'll move my T square upward now I'll construct a straight line to hit the side of the cone I'll take the distance of that horizontal line place it at the midpoint of my circle indicate with the mark I indicate with the mark is point three point three then I'll go move to point four draw a straight line to hit line four line four then at line five draw a straight line to hit line five line five then also from zero draw a straight line to hit line zero you can now see that each of these points this number point touches their related numbered line so i'll mark i'll sketch out the points to touch each other I'm done with my light light sketch then I'll outline I'm done with question one which we should draw a complete plan a complete plan then I'll move to the end elevation. I'll pick a point of my choice. Then I will indicate a line. Now using 45 degrees set square, I'll project a line downward. And then from my line zero, it's a center line where it hits my 45 degree. I'll project a line with a center line upward. I've done that and then I'll call that line line 0, comma 0. Then I'll move my T square upward from line from point 3 where it hits my 45 degree. I'll project to hit my line extension AB. Now call that line 3 from two and four where it hits my 45 degree i'll project upward and i'll call that line line two comma four from one and five once it hits my 45 degree i'll call that point i'll call the line line one comma five and then to the bottom part where it hits my line 45 degree i'll project upward now call that line 1 comma 5 where it hits line 2 and 4 once it hits the vertical line my 45 degree I'll project upward and then I'll call that line line 2 comma 4 and then point 3 the last when I project once it hits my 45 degree then I'll project the line and I'll call that line line 3 then also I'll move my T square upward I'll project from point C the straight line once it hits my center line I'll call that C point C2 I'll join each of these numbered line to point C2 now I'm, do I'm done joining each of my number line to point C2. Then I'll move my T square 
to 0 0.0 now draw a straight line and I'll locate line 0 point 0 line 0 I'll put the point I'll do same to point 0.1 this is point 0.1 now locate where line 1 is this 1 comma 5 I'll put the point here also there's 1 comma 5 so I have a point 0.1 here now I'll move to point 0.2 draw a straight line and I'll locate line 2 this is line 2 comma 4 so I have line 2 here line 2 comma 4 so I have line 2 here also I'll move to 3 I'll check here I have line 3 here and then I also have line 3 this place so I'll move to line 4 draw a straight line once I check I have 2 comma 4 so I'm having point 4 here 2 comma 4 I'm having another point 4 here then I'll move to point 5 I have 1 comma 5 so I have a point here I also have 1 comma 5 I have a point here so I'll move to point 0 then I have 0 comma 0 so I have a point here I'll trace these points together and then I'll outline I'm done tracing with the light trace and then I'll outline. I'm done outlining and I'm also done outlining this portion as well. So I'm done with my end elevation. So I'm left with my development and my plan. My development, also known as the pattern. So I'll place my compass pin at point C, stretch to point A. And then I'll draw an arc. Draw an arc. Then I'll transfer the distance from my circle is divided into equal number of parts equal number of parts so i'll take one of the distance and then i'll mark on my constructed arc i've succeeded in marking them out so i'll number 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 5 4 3 2 1 and then 0 i'll join each of these my number points to point C. I'm done joining each of these number points to point C this way. So then I'll place my compass pin at point C. I'll stretch it to point zero. Then I'll draw an arc. And I'll move to point zero. I'll put the point line zero put my point then I'll extend it also to point one and then I'll draw an arc come to line one put the point come to line one here I'll put my point I'll stretch it to point two then I'll draw an arc Come to line 2, I'll put my point, indicate line 2, I'll put my point. I'll stretch it also to point 3, then I'll draw an arc, come to line 3, put a point, come to line 3, put a point. I'll stretch it to line 4, and then I'll draw an arc. Locate line 4, put the point, locate line 4, put the point, stretch it to line 5, then I'll draw an arc, locate line 5, I'll put the point, I'll locate line 5, put my point, I'll stretch it to point 0, 
run arc locate point zero here and then put my point i'll sketch it done light sketch that is visible to me and then it should not be double line white tracing I'm done with my light sketch then I'll add line add line point zero to this portion here point zero to this portion and I'm done drawing my plan which is also my development which is also known as the pattern thank you for watching i still remain gc engineering drawing don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel thank you